Well, we can start to see some warming temperatures tomorrow, but we have been in a cold spell recently. We've seen 20 days that are below average temperatures so far this month. But tomorrow, we're going to see our first day that's in the 80s that we've seen in a while. We're going to see 70s through most of the day. Reaching 80 is our high in the afternoon tomorrow. We also have a high pollen count tomorrow. So if you have allergies, beware. We're going to have high pollen on Tuesday and Wednesday. That's going to drop a little bit on Thursday, though, because we have a storm system coming in that's going to help clear out that air. So big picture, we're looking at a high pressure ridge building that's going to promote those warmer temperatures over the next few days. Starting on Thursday, we have a low pressure system that's going to start to move in and bring those storms around midday to mid afternoon across the state, mostly concentrated up in the high country. That's going to hang around through Thursday and start to clear itself out on Friday. But with that storm, we have a chance of those high winds. We're going to see sustained winds of about 30 miles per hour in the high country with gusts that can reach all the way up to 45 miles per hour in the high country. But that's farther out. We have a beautiful day on tap for tomorrow. We have those 70s and 80s through the lower desert, seeing those 70s through the western part of the state. 80 in Yuma, seeing those 60s in 64 in Sedona and Prescott. 51 in Flagstaff. But with a warmer day on tap and this um, flood, this um, storm system that is coming in, we have a chance of flooding in the rivers through the valley. There's a flood warning that's in place everywhere in that green. That extends all the way through Friday, but the National Weather Service may extend it because we have a warm up coming after the weekend. So we're looking at 80s tomorrow, warming up to 82 on Wednesday. A huge temperature drop as we have that storm system come through on Thursday. We're going to gradually be warming up, staying in those 70s until about this time next week when we have those 80s return. From the Cronkite News Weather Center, I'm Sarah Blue.